What is going on guys? I am in London. I've just spent the last week hopping around between Germany. Austria. Czech Republic. Wales. And now, London. I'm not here to do car things, and I'm not doing car things, but walking around, it's like a freaking car show around here. There's so many Porsches, Bentleys, uh, Ferraris. Uh, oh my gosh, what else have I seen? A Lamborghini last night downtown. You could just stand on a corner, keep your phone out, and catch all the cars coming by. It's unbelievable. And just as I say that too, an old Land Cruiser drives by, and a uh, brand new Porsche Cayenne. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna stand here on the corner and see what we can see. The uh, London Heathrow Airport parking lot looked like a damn M3 meetup. Germany had a lot of Audis and BMWs as well, but London is like, and Wales too, the Cardiff. Everything is like top tier BMW and Audi. The Wales versus England rugby match is this afternoon, but I've put on a ton of miles this morning already and a ton of miles last night, so I need to take a bit of a break for a minute. All right, we got enough rest. Time to hit the town. In the Baker Street station to get on the train toward Kilburn, we're going to the North London Tavern, I think, to watch the rugby match. We'll see if we can get there. World famous Madame Tussauds. A lot of people want to go there. The train is packed to those people. Not far from Wembley Stadium. You've probably heard of it if you're a fan of Ted Lasso or you're a soccer fan. There we go. That's where we're Got the first half at the North London Tavern that was actually a nice kind of calm laid back environment. Caught the second half at the Oxford Arms which is closer to Camden. We don't start good payments. Okay, let's do the second one. This road of cars is absolutely ridiculous. Just throw one of these guys in. Another example of the cars here, guys. Bentley SUV, Lamborghini. There's a Mercedes back in him, that's not that great, but oh. Another Porsche. This is sick, flat black in the rain. But look at the wheels, the wheels are all curved up on these cars. These people all have awesome cars. <laughs> they beat the shit out of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, what do we got here? Jeez, there's another one. Even more curved wheels. What are you looking at here, a mini G-Wagon? You ever seen this? An Alpine, oh my goodness. What is this? We got a little 911 here? Goodness gracious, where are we? That'd be sick too. Little right side drive, 996.2. No wonder 911s are so cheap here. Little Range Rover, but look, oh, we got another G-Wagon. It's crazy. This is sick. <laughs> I love how they all got their mirrors folded in. It probably does it automatically, but everybody's wheels are curved. 
God, that pissed me off. Must be, must be everybody's wives driving these cars to work. <laughs> what it is probably is that they have too much money to care or they're at least company vehicles or government vehicles and it just doesn't bother them. So they just drive them like they stole them. Yeah, shouldn't be a surprise. This is a hell of a street, guys. Look at this, holy cow. Happy to report no curb wheels on that one. Ooh, rolls with curb wheels, that would, that'd pay for. Another G-Wagon for you. The Range Rovers are just lined up. Definitely a favorite in this area. Looks like we got another Lambo. This is definitely sick. Look what we got here, man, this is badass. And another nylon. God, I love these so much. Cayenne Turbo S, not too shabby. And another, but look at this. Good night. That is sick. I didn't even realize that it's actually a Bentley. Speaking of Bentley, these might be the most expensive curbed wheels or the most expensive car with curbed wheels I've ever seen. Yikes. And not just scuffed either, they're wrecked. You guys, it's been a pretty awesome trip to London. This is cool. There's a lot of stuff to do, obviously. The, the usual suspects, down, Downton Abbey, Westminster Abbey, Buckingham Palace. Uh, you know, take the double-decker bus, get in a cab, drive around, um, check out Wembley Stadium, check out a rugby match at a local tavern. Really cool, a lot of stuff to do. Man, there's a ton of cars around here. The park I was just in was Hyde Park. It's like 350 acres, lots of trees, lots of dogs, lots of ducks, geese, squirrels. Uh, really, really peaceful, quiet, lots of trails. I would definitely recommend doing that while you're here.